Kitty. This is my vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing. How's your week been? Have you been busy? Have you been sewing? I've been looking after sick kids. Both, uh, well, the oldest and the youngest have had this really nasty virus. So there's been a lot of safer slugging and coughing and snotting and yeah, the usual stuff as a mum. I've got Jinx here. She's got a penchant for eating my plant. Don't know what that's all about but I shall try not to let her interrupt us. So today's video is the revealing of the giveaway winners. And I have got, I'm just gonna show you, I made some boxes on my Cricut. So these little gifts are all wrapped up, ready to go out. I put little pom-toms on the top. I just love this cardstock. I get my cardstock from, usually from, uh, the works or the range because they do big 12 by 12 uh, double-sided cardstock for 2 dollars 3 dollars and I just thought that little floral was really cute so yeah these are all ready to go so without further ado let us reveal the winners I need I need a drum I need a drum Alexa pick a number between 1 and 88 your random number between 1 and 88 is 18. 18. So the first winner is number 18. Alexa, pick another number between 1 and 88. Here's a number between 1 and 88. It's 71. 71. Okay. So the winners are Justine Thompson and Tamara Dorr. I'll pop the details in the drop down box below of my email address that you can get in touch with me so you can send me your address and I can post these lovely scissor holders out to you. I uh, don't know where you guys are from but I'll send them anywhere and uh, congratulations! <sighs> right, on with the rest of the video. Fabric. I have a fabric buying obsession just recently and I don't know why because normally I'm quite restrained mm, no I'm not uh, I, I've got a big stash let's put it that way so I really didn't ought to be buying any more fabric but just recently um, I've got inspiration I need to make stuff I've been watching this show on Netflix called next in fashion and um, it's just filling me with ideas of stuff that I want to make. So I have ordered myself two pieces of fabric and I have two lovely pieces of fabric from Minerva for their blogger network. So let's get stuck in. By the way, I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. Um, I am doing housework in amongst other things today. So, Ooh. Right, we don't want your bum in the video, love. Off you go. You're going to sit down? Thank you. So, I'm going to call this my green month because for some reason I've been entirely attracted to green fabric. I've got three pieces of green fabric and one camel piece of fabric. So, I will start, and as always, all the details of where you can get these beauties from will be in that drop down box below. So let's start with the Minerva Blogger Network. So if you guys don't know, um, some of us um, home sewists are part of a blogger network. So in return for a blog post and some photos, we get to choose from Minerva um, some lovely fabric to make stuff with. And I've chosen, because I know I am just gonna procrastinate forever about making this coat. So I have chosen some coating fabric and I won't lie, I was hoping for grey, but all the grey was unavailable by the time I got to it. So I have gone for camel. Now, this coating is a wool blend, I think it's a wool mix. Um, I've not worked with a great deal of coating in the past. It's fairly sturdy. The back looks like that. Uh, it's a lovely shade of camel and I'm hoping I'm not going to look too much like Del Boy or Rodney Trotter <laughs> when I'm wearing this coat. But I've been on Pinterest, I've put a few of my inspiration pics into this video so you can see what I'm thinking. 
But I like camel with leopard print. I think that looks really classy. I also like it with um, bright colours and stripes. And so I was thinking this, which I've got three metres of, is going to make a really nice statement coat. And yeah, I've made coats for my kids previously, um, but I've never made myself a coat. So I thought the only way this is actually going to happen is if I have to do it. So uh, you guys are going to hold me accountable and so are Minerva because this has got to get done. Jinxie. Excuse her, she's wiggling around under the chair. So yeah, really nice. I'll put the details about how much this costs in the drop down box below, but as you can see, I've got a fair amount and I don't know what coat pattern to use. I um, need to go through my pattern stash because I have got tons and tons of patterns. Um, if you'd be interested in a video looking at some of my patterns, then just let me know because I need to really go through and see what I've got. So there, one coat coming up. So I mentioned previously that I will be teaching beginners sewing lessons, just four in the diary so far at Franklin's and um, I'm looking forward to that very much. And whilst I was in there chatting to Neil, who is the manager in there, I also thought it would be rude not to have a look at their fabric selection because they had a sale on and you know, that would be like a cardinal sin. You go into a fabric shop, there's a sale on Holy cow, I'm not coming out without any. Anyway, yes, I bought this. And this is a nice jersey with an embossed star on it. And I have seen this all over Instagram over the last probably couple of years, I suppose. I've seen lots of people make um, dresses um, out of this. And I, I don't know what to do. What should I do? I'm not sure. I was thinking, actually, I like the linden. A lot of people don't like this neckline because it's quite wide, but I like it because if you wear a vest top underneath, I think it's quite a flattering neckline. It's a bit like um, boat necklines are always quite flattering, aren't they? And I quite like the 80s style off the shoulder oversized sweatshirt look that I've been seeing on Pinterest and again I'll put some pictures in so you can see my inspiration. I was thinking if I modify the linden to make it really really wide neck so that one of the shoulders kind of falls off but it's kind of a loose relaxed fit. What do you think? Hmm? I don't know would that be annoying having your shoulder out? Be a bit chilly maybe. I don't know, what else could I do with this? It's really nice and um, sturdy and stretchy, so it's lovely mustard, which I'm always quite unsure whether or not mustard actually goes with my skin tone or not. But if you wear leopard print with mustard, it looks lovely. So yeah, I bought this in their sale and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it was not too expensive because I had the last bit on the bolt and so I got a little tiny bit extra. So yeah, again, let me know. The next fabric that I've got is one that I purchased. So I, um, when I first started vlogging, well not long into my vlogging journey, I was contacted by Luby Doo Fabrics asking me if I would like to um, sample some of their fabric and uh, talk about it on a vlog. And as soon as I looked at their website, I just thought this, this is all up my street. There's a really awesome selection of jerseys and um, a lot of them are really lovely children's um, jerseys. And as time's gone on, they've gotten more and more sort of grown up, lovely sort of adult jerseys too. And now it's pretty much a one-stop shop for really lovely jersey fabric. So, um, Laurel, I think that's how you say her name, she just had a big birthday and was having a discount code and I have been coveting some of this beautiful uh, cable knit for ages and it's called Army Green, um, it's really really soft, I've washed it already, all my fabrics always go straight in the washing machine as soon as they come through the post because um, when inspiration grabs me, I want to be able to sew. So as soon as I open the packet, 
this all goes in the washing machine and it smells lovely it smells oh fabric softener and coziness and yeah i what should i make with this guys any ideas how about a toaster sweater see i've been living in my jessa jeans in fact i'm wearing them today um, and this is a linden sweatshirt by the way um, but i've only got one toaster and it's a really thick quilted gray stripy fabric and it's i mean the name does it justice toaster it toasts me when i wear it and so for that reason i can only wear that sweater when it's minus something outside and it's not been that cold in the uk lately and this fabric is uh, not as thick as that. It's really soft and it's got this lovely sort of knitted look to it. So I'm thinking, what do you reckon? With the hair, army green toaster sweater. Hmm. I've also got a pair of really inexpensive trainers from Primark that are this exact same colour and I wear those trainers with these Jessa trousers all the time so I was thinking maybe that but then there's always the South Bank sweater dress I could make one of those I did buy two meters I think so I've got enough for a dress or my mum picked it up the other day and she said oh that would make a lovely skirt love I was like oh I hadn't thought about that so yeah what do, what would you make with this fabric let me know and then what's next what's next oh more green so i think i've lost a bit of fabric down there this is french terry green again this really dark sort of army olivey green and french terry is loop backed and snuggly and yeah just i don't know what it is about the greens i'm really attracted to green at the moment and this fabric is also gifted by minerva in exchange for a blog post and i mm, what am i going to make with this i am thinking a lounge set so the tilly and the buttons book stretch i have only made no, that's not right. I haven't only made. I've made all of the patterns in that book except for the jogging bottoms, the Stella jogging bottoms. And I feel like I need to wrap that book up before the next book comes out because um, the end of February is her next book and I've pre-ordered it on Amazon already because who doesn't want the new Tilly book? Um, so yeah, I feel like I need to finish stretch. I need to have made all the patterns in that book and know that, yeah, done, on to the next one. So, Stella joggers and maybe a t-shirt to go on the top, sort of like or a long sleeve sweatshirt or maybe a linden or something to wear with it. Or would it green and green might be too much? So maybe I'll make two things with this, the, the, the jogging bottoms and something else. So hit me with suggestions. I've not worked with French Terry before, I don't think. So yeah, I'm excited about that one. And then finally, down here somewhere is the pièce de résistance. Um, I hope none of you are French because I've just totally murdered that. But I saw this fabric and I was like, oh, I've got to have that. I have, I have to buy that right this minute. It was something like 10 to nine at night and I saw it and I was just like, it's going in my, it, I, I don't even know if, I don't care if I need it or not. It's, it's going in my shopping basket because, because, oh, I just want to like cover myself in this. Look at it. Oh my God. It's crepe. And uh, oh, look at the leopard print, pink and green. I'm in love with this fabric. And it's seriously in danger of becoming one of those fabrics that just gets straked a lot and never gets cut. It wasn't that expensive actually. Where did I get it from? Myfabrics.co.uk. So um, I've ordered from them uh, previously. I've always been quite pleased with the fabrics that have arrived. They do charge a fair amount of postage because I think these fabrics come from um, Europe somewhere, maybe Germany. 
Um, but if you sign up to their newsletter, you can get a £5 discount voucher, which um, I used to pay for the postage. Um, so actually it turned out it was about £6 a metre, six, maybe a bit more than that. And like I said, I'll tell you down below. But look at this. And now I'm trying to convince myself that I don't need a Tilly and the Buttons indigo in this because, you know, I've got patterns, I've got patterns coming out my ears. There's bound to be a simple t-shirt style top with a gathered skirt that looks like an indigo. There's bound to be one. Oh, Jinx is back. Um, but I'm feeling like I need the indigo pattern. Has anyone else made an indigo? I'm not even sure if it's my style, but I think in this fabric, it would look so cool with some black tights and boots. What do you think? Mm. What else could I make with it? I don't know, I just wanna look at it all day. I just love this fabric. So yeah, that is my haul. Lots of stuff to get on with. Um, I don't even know where I'm gonna, I don't even know where I'm gonna start. So, I need your help guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What should I, what should I do first? Shall I start the coat? Because the coat's gonna take me a while. What coats have you made? Have you got any good ideas for patterns for coats? I can't make anything that's not lined because the back of that fabric's not that nice. So, you know, where you'd have a, like a boiled wool where you could go for something with a waterfall front that was unlined. I can't really go for that with this fabric. It needs to be something lined so tell me what's your favorite coat pattern and perhaps that's where i will begin but hmm, i i don't i think the leopard print might win you wait up uh, 10 minutes after this video i'm gonna buy the indigo pattern aren't i probably anyway that's it for today guys if you've enjoyed my video please do do the thumbs up press subscribe and I love answering all your comments and stuff, so just keep interacting with me. I've started a Ko-Fi page. Is it Ko-Fi or Coffee? Ko-Fi, I think. The details will be down in the drop-down box below because I wanna make these videos really great for you guys. So I am starting to save up for microphones. Uh, I think I want some more editing software, something to make this really special because I would love to be able to share more um, tutorials with you and show you what I'm actually doing as I'm doing it. So I need some sort of setup where I can get the camera looking down from above so you can see my hands at work uh, because everybody seemed to like seeing me make the mandala in the last video. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, press the link below. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. And I'll see you next time. Bye!